Bell pepper lovers, we just harvested these peppers here and we're going to show you our 10 favorite unique and uncommon peppers that you can grow on the tower garden. It is a bit spicy after all. Ooh. growing is called anaconagua this is a heirloom variety from argentina and it grows long elongated peppers that are very sweet and perfect for frying let's harvest one right here oh perfect look at that color they'll start off as green switch to yellow and then they turn red like this so we're going to harvest a couple here. these peppers here are known as serrano peppers this is a classic traditional pepper in Mexico, and they are traditionally harvested either green, if you would like to eat a little bit more mild, or once they reach full maturity, red, like this, they get to be quite spicy. These peppers range between 10,000 and 25,000 units on the Scoville scale. These are excellent for, for making spicy sauces or fermented pepper sauces, uh, very, very popular in Mexican cuisine. Serrano peppers grow extremely abundantly and prolifically on a tower garden. They're also a larger variety in size. So that's definitely something to consider when choosing where you're going to plant it on the tower garden, as it's definitely significantly bigger than the other varieties. The next original and unique pepper variety that you can grow in a tower garden are purple jalapenos. You're probably used to seeing the green and red varieties, but there exists also a purple variety of jalapeno. These ones are just like normal jalapenos, except they're purple. And when they reach maturity, they turn red, kind of like a reddish purple like this. And uh, they have the same heat level as a normal jalapeno. That's about 15,000 uh, units on the Scoville scale. So, uh, yeah, these ones are, are perfect for actually smoking and grilling, and uh, you can even make a chipotle sauce with these. You can make any kind of your favorite Mexican spicy sauce. A great one to, to grow. The next amazing variety of peppers that you can grow on the tower garden are called Hungarian wax peppers. These ones actually have a range of one to 15,000 units on the Scoville scale for being spicy. So that's quite a large range. And you should harvest them when they're yellow like this for, so that they're not too spicy. Uh, but if you let them reach maturity, you'll see that they'll start changing colors to orange like this. And then they'll turn all the way to red like this. So you can really see the different colors of maturity here. This one is going to be a lot spicier than this one here, for example. Okay, we're going to test the spiciness of this pepper here. Mmm, that's good. Sweet. It's spicy, but not too spicy. Now the spiciness is kicking in, but it's not overwhelming. It's got a really nice, mild level of spiciness. Highly recommended. Another variety that you can grow on the tower garden is a classic. This one is the red bell pepper. Everyone knows this pepper. Sweet, delicious, perfect when eaten raw or even cooked. This one is a classic that should be in everybody's fridge. The red bell pepper. So here we got some uh, yellow bell peppers as well. And I'll harvest a few. These ones are ready. Oh, there goes one. I'm having trouble here cutting them. But yeah, yellow bell pepper. And here we have orange bell peppers which uh, still are a little green but they still taste delicious 
The next original pepper variety that we're growing this year is called Buena Mulata. Oops, just dropped one. This is a pepper chili that is spicy and it's also known as the chameleon pepper because it changes from yellow to orange to brown to purple. And then finally when it reaches full maturity, it turns red. And the red ones look like this right here. This is what they look like when they mature. And they say that the spiciness level on these peppers are very similar to a cayenne, around uh, 50,000 Scoville units on the, on the spicy Scoville scale. Okay guys, we're about to harvest my favorite pepper. These are called Ancho Grande, also known as Poblano peppers, an absolute delicacy. This is the poblano pepper, also known as ancho grande. This is a very, very mildly spicy pepper, uh, very popular in Mexico. What they usually do is they grill it and char it so the skin kind of peels off and is blackened. And then you can use it in all kinds of dishes. Uh, they do it uh, in burritos and tacos, and it has a very distinctive flavor once it's been charred. Um, it's really sought after in, in Mexican cuisine for its uniqueness and flavor. Today we're going to be smoking these poblano peppers in the, our barbecue smoker and we're going to be making a fermented smoked poblano spicy sauce. Okay, when you let your poblano peppers grow too big, they turn red like this and we don't recommend uh, harvesting, harvesting them red because the, the unique flavor of the poblano gets lost once it reaches full maturity. You're better off harvesting your poblanos once they're this big. The next variety that you will probably never find in the supermarket are these purple bell peppers. These ones are definitely eye-catching and uh, just so unique. I mean, look at that color. You, you never expect peppers to be purple, especially a bell pepper. But these ones are sweet, delicious, and also just perfect for frying or eating raw. The next variety that we're growing on a tower garden here is called Thai Dragon. So this one's very similar to the bird eye chili, has a very similar level of spiciness, 50 to 100,000 on the Scoville scale. And these ones as well are just ideal for stir fries, curries, any kind of dish that you want. If you want them to be a little bit less spicy, harvest them when they're green. If you want them to be more spicy, harvest them once they're red. You really have to learn and play around with uh, harvesting the peppers at different levels of maturity in order to get different levels of spiciness. So it's definitely got a kick to it. Spicy. The next variety that you can grow on a tower garden are these chilies here known as the bird eye chili. These are a classic in Thai cuisine. You can use them in stir fries and papaya salads and all kinds of uh, Thai dishes. These ones, don't let their size uh, fool you. These ones are extremely spicy, between 50,000 and 100,000 units on the Scoville scale. These ones will definitely bring the heat to your dish. If you wanna add some fire to your meal, these are the ones to, to, to use. Hey, mother growers, there's some fun to table. There we go. Uh-huh. 